Dobar dan, dragi učenici, i dobrodošli na još jedan sat engleskog jezika. Na današnjem satu engleskog jezika povezat ćemo engleski jezik i prirodu i govorit ćemo o staništu životinja i o prilagodbi nekih životinja na različita staništa. So, let's start. Here I have two questions. The first one is what is a habitat? And the second one, how are animals adapted to their habitats? So, does anyone know what is a habitat? Ili na hrvatskom, zna li netko od vas reći što je to stanište? Ok. So, a habitat is the home of an animal or a plant. And uh, almost every place on earth, like desert or a polar region, is a habitat for some kinds of animals or plants. And also animals and plants adapt to their uh, habitats. You can see here the picture, and this is the desert. And, uh, well, we can see that the desert is a very dry, uh, it is um, a very hot and there is uh, little rain it, and not many animals can live in this habitat. Can you name some animals that live in the desert? Mm -hmm. So, right, maybe some kinds of lizards snakes, okay, and spiders, well, animals that can dig underground and hide from the heat. Good. Okay, so now let's have uh, a look at another habitat, the seas and oceans. Can you name some animals that live in the seas and oceans? Okay, fish and what else? Turtles, right? And uh, whales mm -hmm. and sharks. Okay, they can't live in the desert, but they can live in the seas and oceans. And what about the mountains? Well, bears. Mm -hmm. Some birds, like eagles, okay, and maybe wolves, they live in the mountains. And polar regions, well, not many animals live in the polar regions, but there are some, like uh, polar bears and polar foxes and penguins and again some wolves. And now some animals that live in the forest. Well, that's easy one. Uh, you, you know that in the forest we can find foxes uh, and wolves. Okay, what else? Right, rabbits, snakes, many different kinds of birds. Okay. And another habitat, well, grassland. We can see big animals in the grassland, like elephants, like tigers and lions. They live in the grassland. So now we know what is habitat, but what is adaptation? So let's see what is adaptation and how animals adapt to different habitats. Look at this picture. And uh, in the picture you can see the green lizard that lives in Croatia. And I would like you to draw the green lizard in your notebook. You may take some time now and pause the video and start drawing. And when you finish with the drawing, uh, think about the lizard that lives in the desert. Is it the same or very similar to the green lizard? Uh, think about the following questions. 
um, is the desert lizard more active in the day or at night and why is its tail fatter than the tail of the green lizard does it have longer or shorter limbs and limbs are arms and legs does it have claws and why claws you can see the claws here in the drawing and does it have larger eyes or smaller eyes and why so what are the adaptations that the desert lizard has to have to live in the desert now draw a lizard adapted to the desert and you can see the one here in this picture and uh, uh, think about its color and think about the size of some parts of its body and you may start drawing so uh, if you have completed your drawing of the desert lizard it certainly has got fat tail and why because it must store food and water in the desert lizards do not have a lot of food and water and they have to store it they also have long limbs uh, long arms and legs and why because they must keep themselves off the hot sand it's really very hot and they have claws because they must dig underground to get away from the heat during the day and they have large eyes because a lizard is active at night and now let's compare the two lizards, the green lizard that lives in Croatia and the desert lizard that lives in a very dry and very hot habitat. So this, um, this slide will help you to compare the two lizards. Uh, write four sentences in your notebooks and here is an example sentence. Green lizard is more active in the day than the desert lizard. And now compare them and use uh, the, uh, the adjectives in blue. So compare the lizards and write about uh, who has got fatter tail, longer limbs, shorter claws and larger eyes. So lizard, lizards just like other animals and plants adapt to habitats in different ways and this adaptation leads to evolution so uh, this is the answer to the question why do giraffes have long necks so really why do they have long necks yes definitely to eat leaves and, and the now answer to the question what is evolution uh, evolution is the change in the characteristics of some animals to adapt to new habitats for example that's why giraffes have long necks they adapted to the habitat and also camels why do camels have hump well the humps are full of fat so that camels can live without food and water for several days. They simply adapted to the habitat, uh, to the desert, because they cannot find food and water every day. Let's quickly revise what we have learned today. The first question is, what is a habitat? There are two possible answers. Is it a usual way of behaving or is it the home of an animal or a plant? Okay, and what is evolution? Is it the change of characteristics of some animals and plants or is it the comparison of characteristics? 
fine. And now name five different habitats. And the final task, and you may do it in your notebooks, name two animals that live in the desert and two animals that live in the seas and oceans and two animals that live in the mountains and two animals that live in the polar regions and animals that live in the forests and animals that live in the grassland and think about how they adapted to their habitats. That's it. Goodbye.